We don't care if we cause a disturbance from White House to Dog House. That's right. Hallelujah. In the way of holiness, Hallelujah. We do not pledge no allegiance. Go ahead. To no flag. Go ahead, go ahead. Of this America. That's right. Our pledge of allegiance means to give all. That's right. We give our all to Almighty God. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. God only. God only. Are you listening? Go ahead, go ahead. We don't Let's swear. Do. Thou shalt no not forswear thyself. We bow to God. That's right. Swear not listening? at all. Holiness is not like these other religions. Go ahead, go ahead. You folk that's in Christianity, you got an American flag in your church. That's right. that's you was right. following God, you wouldn't find an American flag in nobody's church. Amen. Preach that. Go ahead. Huh? Go ahead. Come on. Only thing to be exalted in that church is God. That's right. That's right. Government don't dictate us. Amen. God dictates us. That's right. Go ahead. We believe in the laws of the land. Mm -hmm. But if any law comes from the White House, Amen. that contradicts the throne. That's right. That's right. We will fight that law. Go ahead. We will ahead. fight it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was saying you should be patriotic at a time like this. I'm not a patriot. <laughs> That's right. I fear God. Go ahead. Preach that. Go ahead. God has more to offer me than America ever will have. Amen. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I had a black man called in <laughs> and told me, you just afraid to speak out against all of the Muslims because of what Saddam, or what's that fella name was supposed to have called it to Osama, Osama bin Laden done. I can't generalize every Muslim. No, no, no. And say every Muslim is a terrorist? No. Because America said what bin Laden done. I don't know he done it. Amen. The Bible teaches me to speak what I know. Amen. That's right. And I know from the history of America, they have a long history of lies. That's true. So I'm not going to say he done it because they said it. Amen. America don't control my mind. I'm not on nobody's plantation. My Lord, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. America don't talk for me. Go ahead. Let the book of scripture talk for us. Go ahead. Do you find America indicting all so-called Christians Amen. because of the conduct of the Ku Klux Klan? No. No. No way. Go ahead. Go ahead. Am I right? Go ahead. Go ahead. Amen. I can't indict all Muslims. No, no way. There's some Muslims I know live better than some of you so-called Christian cigar sucking dogs. Amen. <laughs> Many of them that I know. Amen. Some that I know fear God better. Better. Go ahead. When Islam calls for prayer, it is known that all dedicated Muslims submit wherever they at. Mm -hmm. The preacher can say, all right, let's come on to the house of God and pray. You got to be on the phone. You come to church tonight. That's right. Brother, you got you to get there early to open up the church. That's Brother, true. you got the keys. You got people standing outside. That's right. That's right. That's why they don't like this bow tie wearing half bald head man. That's right. I speak the truth. Amen. It don't matter who don't like it. But I won't come back and see you. That's right. Doesn't matter. I, don't, I, don't I know. know when you meet God, you're going to answer for what I'm preaching. That's right. My Lord, my Lord. So we're not afraid to speak out against terrorism. No. Terrorism is wrong. That's why I speak out against America. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. You going to tell me America is not a terrorist country? Go ahead. America got a history of terrorism. Amen. What are you talking? Amen. You don't go around being hateful towards somebody because the government say that you should. No, that's not God's way. No, no, no. If Bin Laden is wrong, then let him be brought before the world's court. That's right. That's right. But I will say this. That's right. If you can 
condemn terrorism and it should be condemned. Mm -hmm. And all terrorists should be brought to the court of the world. Amen. Then you better put America on that list trial. and let them be tried by the world's court. That's right. For the years of treatment towards the so-called American Indian, Go the ahead. black man, the Hispanic man, and the poor white folk of this country. That's right. Go ahead. You think terrorists just go around bombing buildings? No, no. Terrorists bomb your paycheck. That's right. <laughs> the real. That's right. That's right. Terrorists will suppress your ability to be promoted on a job. That's true. Terrorists will deprive you of proper education. That's right. Terrorists will deprive you of proper jobs. Amen. Proper housing. Amen. America bears the heading of democracy. Yeah. Democracy means fairness. Fair. Well, America democracy is equivalent to hypocrisy. That's right. Because if America was a democracy, a country of democracy, mm -hmm. you wouldn't have to have no march. No. You don't have to march on no Washington. March for your rights. You That's don't right. need no new bills. No. Just enforce what you already got. That's right. Go don't ahead. need no new bills. Go ahead. The bills you got ain't doing nothing. Amen. Just make the poor poor. Have you ever found a president get up and talk about what we're going to do for poor people? There's always two people, middle class and rich. That's president right. don't come. A man running from office don't come to the hood. No, no. A man running for office don't even come to the hood. That's right. And talking about vote for me. He don't come to the hood. No, no. He go to the suburbs. Mm -hmm. So he don't have to duck. Duck. Don't worry about no drive-by shooting. That's right. As he think. Yeah. That's why I don't encourage God's people to vote. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. I don't encourage God's people to vote. Amen. No. Amen. Amen. Well, I'm a Democrat. I'm a Republican. <laughs> Which one of them care about you? That's right. Go ahead. They're cutting out all your programs and not putting nothing to replace it. That's right. Think of it. Amen. It is the government that will put you in jail for smoking crap. Yep. But the government endorses crack pipes to be sold over the counter. Amen. The government will put you in jail for drunk driving. Yeah. But the store is called state stores. That's right. State stores. When you open that bottle, you crack the government seal before you down that liquor. That's right. That's democracy. That's right. That's hypocrisy. Amen. Woe unto them. Listen. In Isaiah chapter 10, beginning at verse 1. That's why I kill everything. That's right. Yes. I don't encourage none of you to vote. <laughs> it's been proven oh, yeah. that your vote don't mean nothing. Don't mean nothing. All you got to be is be a multi-millionaire. You can buy your way into the White House. That's right. That's right. It's proven. Amen. These organizations, the NAACP, I believe they have good intents and core and SNCC and all of them for years, but knocking on doors and encouraging you to vote. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's what it mean? Yeah. What do you get? Mm -hmm. All you get is someone to form a big march. You march down on Washington, which gives vendors a chance to make money. Right. You get a good speech. Amen. You go back home. Go back home. Feeling all right. That's right. And still on the employment, on the unemployment line. Are you listening? Amen. Listen. Isaiah chapter 10, beginning at verse 1. Listen at the scriptures. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees. All this tie in with the book. All this with the book. This is a hypocritical nation. That's right. They decree unrighteous. Unrighteous decrees. Decrees. I mean, when I listen at Bush. I know many of you patriotic folk gonna write me and call because you do it all the time. Mm -hmm. Thousands of letters. Amen. What Bush is saying that Saddam should not have nuclear warheads. I agree. Mm -hmm. But are you saying he shouldn't have them and you should? 
That's, that's, that's what they're saying. That's what they're saying. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Saddam shouldn't have them, mm-hmm. but we should have them. <laughs> that's right. Why? We're America. <laughs> Go ahead. We're America. Amen. Well, if one country shouldn't have them, mm. nobody should have nobody. them. Nobody. If nuclear war hands is wrong for Iraq or Iran, mm. it is wrong for America. Amen. It's not it's right for America and wrong. No. If it's wrong for them, it's wrong. Listen, it's yeah. like they throw you in jail mm-hmm. for shooting. It was wrong. And you can shoot somebody for defending your family. You go to jail. Right. If it's wrong to take another person's life mm-hmm. for protecting your family, and they give you 20 years, mm-hmm. then it's equally wrong for America Amen. to draft you yes. and you go fight in defense of her. Amen. 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 Equally wrong. Amen. If someone going to break into that man's house and that man hunt deer, that man going to hunt two legs. Yes, he will. Is that right? That's right. If someone going to break in his house, That's right. and that man may be a deer hunter, that man going to go to his rifle and hunt two legs. Yes, he will. Then he going to go to jail. That's right. For protecting his house. That's right. Well, it should be equally wrong Amen. to go overseas and take the lives of people who don't know you. Amen. While your president riding around on a golf course or sitting on his ranch and fish. <laughs> That's right. That's equally wrong. Equally. If it's wrong to kill here in America, then it's wrong to kill for America. Amen. Amen. Now, many may not like that. Amen. But the law of God says this. Thou shall not not kill. kill." That's it. The law of God says God said it. Vengeance is mine, the Lord says, I will repay. That's right. You ain't got no way to go overseas and die. They got what is called friendly fire. That's what they call it. In other words, your own friends kill you. That's right. <laughs> they fly right over you and drop a bomb drop on bombs. you. Amen. Now, if a bomb gonna hit me, I don't believe it gonna feel friendly. <laughs> and all your family get in return is a flag wrapped in plastic. That's it. And a 21 gun salute and you dropped in the ground. Mm-hmm. But then if you go to war for this country and all of a sudden they drop chemicals, oh America dropped chemicals during now. Agent Arn was a Agent Arn was a chemical. That's right. So you can't criticize these third world companies for chemical warfare. You done it, America. Amen. Started. And you got vets now mm-hmm. suffering from the effects of Agent Arn. They can't get nothing from this country. Amen. So get the moat out of your eye. That's right. Before you get the beam out of any third world country. That's right. Now, I know many won't like what I'm saying. Won't like it. But as you found out now, it don't matter to me. <laughs> this is the love of Christ. That's right. And That's right. Oh yes. Amen. This is Christ's love. This is love. Yes, I'm saying it and I mean it, brother. That's right. This nation is a hypocritical country. Amen. And the reason why these TV evangelists are scared to speak the truth because they're afraid to be offended by this country and they're afraid to be sued by right. this country. They're afraid to be closely watched. By the FBI and the CIA. They That's want right. to stand and take a picture, picture with the president. That's right. <laughs> I rather stand with God. Stand with God. That's right. Let me stand with God. Go ahead. If I got to stand alone, mm, go ahead. long as God with me, I'll fight creation. Go ahead. I fight the world with no fear. I don't fear nobody walking on this planet. Amen. As long as God remains God, I know a good man steps out. Order by the Lord. Order by the Lord. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Amen. That's why we preach like we do. Yes, Lord. We preach like we do because God made us like he did. That's right. Not because I had a messed up childhood or my mind is messed up. No. God got a hold of us. That's right. And made me to represent him. That's it. As long as God be my helper, I will represent him to the last breath of my body. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. 
Are you listening? Amen. So I don't worry about hate mail. No. I don't worry about hateful calls. That don't discourage me. No, no. It just keep my engine cranked. That's right. And oiled by the spirit. That's right. We stay divine and lubricated. Amen. Are you listening to what I'm talking? Go ahead. America, anytime a man is of God in the country that he's in, the government is wrong. Mm -hmm. And if he cannot speak it's against that. the, if you examine the scriptures, That's right. when the prophets told the king, thus saith the Lord. That's right. Told the queen, thus saith the Lord. Oh. That was the government of that time. That's right. If Daniel can talk about Nebuchadnezzar. Amen. And Belshazzar. Mm -hmm. And Isaiah can call Hezekiah attention. That's right. And Micaiah can talk to Ahab. Mm -hmm. And Jehu can talk to Ahab. That's right. And Elijah can talk to Ahab. Amen. If Nathan can talk to David. Yeah. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. If Jesus can talk to Herod. Amen. If Paul can talk to Agrippa. That's right. Then I can talk to Bush and everybody else in the world. Amen. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Certainly we can. Go ahead. God don't make no scared messengers. No, no. He don't make no coward preachers. Amen. He want a preacher that will take on his character. That's right. Who's willing, not only the glory to God, who's willing to abide by his will. Go ahead, go ahead. It ain't nothing scared about God. No. No, we are not patriotic. That's right. Yes, we pray for those families who lost their lives when the Twin Towers was taken down. That whole act was cowardly and wickedly. Amen. Wicked. But I don't know who done it. Amen. I ain't got a clue who done it. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Amen. I mean, you're talking about the same government that says one bullet killed Kennedy and killed a governor and killed one bullet hit about five people. That's right. <laughs> one car. You're talking about a government that says one bullet killed about four or five people or hit four or five people in a moving vehicle moving and vehicle. the bullet wasn't damaged. They came out perfect. That's right. If a 22 bullet is shot in your arm, that bullet is crushed. Amen. It's damaged. Yeah. The one bullet theory. That's what they call it. What go call through it. the throat, go through the head, and come out the governor's wrist and go with someone else, that bullet is busy, boy. <laughs> Traveling. I have no confidence in the government of America. No, no. One white racist gentleman called me. I have to say racist because all my white brothers and sisters are not racist. Mm -hmm. But this gentleman was racist and he called me after he called me a nigger. <laughs> he said, listen, you old preaching MF nigger. Why don't you go on back to Africa where you came from? <laughs> well, me personally, I didn't come from Africa. <laughs> 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 my ancestors did right that's right in fact my white brother you came that's right according to the book of scripture every human you come from Africa that's right your mama came from Africa amen let me talk to you go ahead your mama is an African woman. The Bible said Eve is the mother of all, of all living. That's right. Of Go all ahead. living. All. So ain't nobody colored better than anyone else. That's right. One thing about the Bible, know how to cut your arrogance down, don't it? Oh, yes. Amen. It cut your arrogance down. Down. Put the white dust, the yellow dust, the black dust all together and let you know you're just a pile of dust. That's all. I'm glad God have it like that. That's right. That way we don't think we something when we are nothing. Amen. Are you listening? That's right. So to my brothers and sisters that are viewing, how much time do I have left, brother? Let me know how much time do I have because I know the clocks are ticking in. I know the cameras, they eventually fade out. 30 minutes? All right, that's good exercise time. Everybody all right? Yeah. You ain't got nowhere to go this afternoon, do you? Good. 
If you plan on going to church, cancel it. That's right. Don't come get truth in one session, then go back and get lied to. Yeah. That's huh? right, that's right. Do you understand? No. Come on, son, let's get some more good truth here. Still in Isaiah 10 and at verse 1. Yeah. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees. Unrighteous decrees. And that right grievousness which they have prescribed. That right grievances that they have prescribed. Come on. Hmm. Isaiah. Bush, I believe, is just trying to do what his father couldn't do. Amen. He want to finish up daddy's work. That's right. Some said, won't you go on and preach the word? This is the word. That's right. Someone said, I can't find it in the Bible. Bush is like a king of the Old Testament. Yeah. And I'm like a prophet in the Old Testament. That's right. I hold authority he don't have. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yes. Someone said, who do you think you are? I am what I am. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Whenever God sent a man, Amen. He holds authority that no human holds. Mm -mm. The president and king hold earthly authority. That's right. God prophets hold heavenly authority. That's right. And if Bush was wise, Amen. and this moment of silence was for real, yeah, that's right. You congressmen are just being silent. Let someone just pray. That's right. That's right. Don't let the military chaplain read no prayer. Amen. Go ahead. Let someone who walk with God talk to God. That's right. Ask God for true, sincere guidance. Go ahead. And help. Go ahead. Is that Bible? Yes. Oh. There was a king mm -hmm. by the name of Ahab. That's right. And he wanted a piece of territory called Ramoth Gilead. Ramoth Gilead. Go and take a card. That's right. You understand? That's right. Give me the book of Kings and see what I'm talking about. Scripture. First Kings chapter 22. First Kings chapter 22. And begin at verse 4. And verse 4. And he said unto Jehoshaphat. I hope all of you are right. I know many of you set in movies longer than this. You know, so I hope you're not hurting back there. If you can, kind of stretch. That's right. Kind of strict because let me tell you something. You may leave here. It may be your last time living. Amen. Huh? That's true. Listen closely. First Kings 22 begin at verse 1. All right. And they continued three years without war between Syria and Israel. Yes. And it came to pass in the third year uh -huh. that Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah, came Jehoshaphat, down. Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah, came down. To the king of Israel. To the king of Israel. And the king of Israel said unto his servants, Know ye not that Ramoth Gilead is ours? Do you know that Ramoth Gilead is ours? And we be still. And we ain't doing nothing about it. And take it not out of the hand of king of the king of Syria. The king of Assyria got our land. And he said unto Jehoshaphat. The king of Assyria got our land. That's right. Our land. Our land. That's right. You understand? Mm-hmm. That's the attitude of America. Mm-hmm. Other countries got their land and America wanted. <laughs> Amen. That's our land. <laughs> That's right. So let me travel around the, country, the world and persuade other leaders to join us in a coalition. Mm-hmm to topple land that's really not ours, right? but because we are a greedy country Amen. and right. got the spirit of covetousness, Go ahead. we are known to desire someone else's. That's right. Hmm? That's right. That is the policy of America. Mm -hmm. The spirit of covetousness, meaning to desire and to want something that don't belong to you. That's right. Listen. Know ye not that Ramoth Gilead is ours yes. and we be still? And taken not out of the hand of the king of Syria. And the king of Assyria wasn't bothering Ahab? No. Who wasn't bothering Ahab? And it wasn't. Saddam ain't bothering Bush? Nope. These other countries, they're not bothering Bush. No, no. But a lot of men strive to make a legacy for themselves. Yeah. At the lives of others. At the expense of others. Mm -hmm. I encourage all people, black, white, yellow, red... If a draft ever come out, don't go. Amen. Always well, we'll throw you in jail. At least I'd be alive. That's right. I can watch cable in jail. That's right. Well, I can turn the Truth to God television program on in jail. That's right. Don't go. Mm -hmm. 
Listen. And he said unto Jehoshaphat, Wilt thou go with me to battle to Ramoth Gilead? Will you go with me mm -hmm. to battle? To Ramoth Gilead? That's what the president do. That's what they're trying. Get their coalition. This is a coalition talk. That's right. Will you go with me to Ramoth Gilead? And Jehoshaphat said to the king of now, Israel. Now listen at the righteous king Jehoshaphat and his suggestion. I am as thou art. I am as thou art. My, my people, people as thy people. And my horses. As thy horses. Yes. And Jehoshaphat said unto the king of Israel. Listen. Inquire, I pray oh, wait, thee. Wait, 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 Ahab. Here's something I advise you to do. Inquire, I pray thee. At the word of the at Lord. At the word of the Lord. Today. Today. Amen. You better get involved, God involved, involved in this. what you got in mind to do. That's right. A moment of silence ain't going to do it. <laughs> no. No, no. You better get God involved. That's right. Because there's lives at stake. Amen. There's a lot of wives going to lose husbands. Yeah. A lot of children going to lose fathers. That's right. Over the greed of another country. That's right. Huh? Amen. Listen. Then the king of Israel gathered the prophets together. Now. He gathered the prophets. Prophets. But none of these guys he got mm -hmm. was of God. That's right. Listen. Then the king of Israel gathered the prophets together. Yes. About 400 men. You don't need 400 men to tell you the truth. <laughs> no. America do the same thing. Mm -hmm. They call Benny Hinn. That's right. They call Graham. Graham. They call Jakes. Mm -hmm. Call Earl Roberts. That's right. Call Robert Tilton. Yep. They call Pat Robinson. Mm -hmm. They call Creflo Dollar. Creflo Dollar. They call Swagger. Oh. They don't call me. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why don't they call me? Oh, they call you. That's right. That's right. Am I that bad? Amen. Go ahead. Am I not that messed up? Why don't you call America? Why don't you call me? <laughs> now, I want you to listen closely at this, brother, because I'm telling you, this is itemizing exactly what I'm talking about right now. That's right. From the mentality of the president to the mentality of the prophet. That's right. Listen closely. Inquire, I pray thee, at the word of the Lord today. Inquire, I pray thee, at God's word today. Then the king of Israel gathered the prophets together, about 400 men. Yes. And said unto them, Shall I go against Ramoth Gilead to, to battle? The, the objective of Ahab mm -hmm. was to get 400 men so they would say the same thing. That way, that would impress Jehoshaphat so Jehoshaphat can think, all these men of God speaking with one voice, they are behind Ahab, and this war is of God. Right. But Jehoshaphat was divinely intelligent. That's right. See, Jehoshaphat walked with God. Yeah. And he knew what was false from what was real. That's right. So Ahab got 400 men just to bring about an excitement to make it look like I consulted God until God moved on 400, 400 men. men. That's right. To speak the same thing. That's right. Listen. Shall I go against Ramoth Gilead to battle or like, shall I forbear? Yes. And they said, go up. Go on up. For the Lord shall deliver it into the hand of the king. They lied. Mm -hmm. 400 men, they said they were prophets. Say, okay, right. go, go on up. The Lord shall deliver it into the hand of the king. But the Lord ain't said that. No. Now listen closely. And Jehoshaphat said. Oh, here's the wise king who it, walked with God. That's right. Listen that Jehoshaphat question. Is there not a prophet hey, of the hey, Lord hey, besides? Ahab, hey, what you trying to put down? <laughs> that's right. Now, Ahab, what in the world are you trying to put down? Amen. You know better. This mm -hmm. is Jehoshaphat. Is there not here a prophet a of the Lord prophet besides? Of the Lord besides, besides what? Besides all these false prophets false you got? Prophet. That's right. Huh? That's right. Listen, you better bring the real thing in here. The real thing, amen. Because I know they don't, they don't take 400 men to tell you one truth. No. What do you think you're talking to, Ahab? Amen. Amen. Listen closely. And Jehoshaphat said, Is there not here a prophet of the Lord besides? 
that we might inquire of him. I want you to listen that Ahab respond. Mm -hmm. And Ahab respond going to let you know he knew the 400 was devils. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Listen. And the king of Israel said unto Jehoshaphat, there is yet one man. Well, if those 400 had the goods, why would he say there is yet one man? One man. Well, Jehoshaphat, look, I know. That's right. You know, I wanted to get you excited. I hope you get on my side. But listen, yeah. I know all these 400 fellas ain't got nothing. Mm -hmm. But being that you asked to hear from God and not the devil, mm -hmm. there, there is, yet is one man. Only one man I know of. Micaiah. His name is Micaiah, the, the son, of, son Imla. of Imbla. By whom, By whom we may inquire of the Lord. We can get God's word from him, but I'm going to tell you the way I feel about him. But I hate him. Amen. <laughs> Amen. He said, I hate him. But why do you hate him, Ahab? For he doth not prophesy good concerning me, but evil. He don't say what I want to hear. That's right. That's right. I always talk about you going to hell, you going to hell, you. <laughs> I want to talk about heaven, heaven and love. That's right. Glory to God. Glory to God. That's right. And that's the way people feel. That's the way they feel. Because Micaiah was not designed to tell the king what he wanted to hear. Mm -hmm. Micaiah and every man of God is designed to tell you what you need to hear. That's right. In other words, he's not sent out to make friends. Amen. He's sent out to save souls and God will send real Be friends free. to him. That's right. Listen. And Jehoshaphat said, let not the king say so. Don't say it. Don't say you hate this man. That's right. Listen. Then the king of Israel called an officer. Then the king of Israel called an officer. And said, hasten hither Micaiah the son of Emma. Listen, you, you know Micaiah. Go hurry up and go get him. And the king of Israel and Jehoshaphat the king of Judah sat each on his throne. We're sitting and wait for him. Having put on the robes in a void place in the entrance of the gate of Samaria. Listen. And all the prophets prophesied before them. The 400 kept going. Kept going. And not one was a man of God. That's right. They was out looking for the man of God, Micaiah. <laughs> That's right. The 400 kept acting like fools. Amen. Amen. Listen. And Zedekiah, the son of Chenea, and made him horns of iron. Yeah. And he said, thus saith the Lord. Even, even Zedekiah got into it. Mm -hmm. Hypocrite. That's right. He made horns of iron. He started lying on God. Thus saith the Lord. With these thou shalt with push thee. the Syrians. He came up with a false prophecy. That's with right. these shalt thou push the Syrians. Until thou hast consumed, consumed them. And all the prophets prophesied so, saying, go up to Ramoth Gilead and prosper. And the Lord was not in none of this. Mm-hmm. Because they were still out looking for Micaiah. That's right. The real deal. That's right. Listen. For the Lord shall deliver it into the king's hand. All right. And the messenger that was gone to call Micaiah spake unto now, him. Now listen closely. Mm -hmm. Micaiah had a rep. That's right. Of speaking whatever God speak. That's right. So the messenger from Ahab knew what the false prophets already said. Mm -hmm. So when he got to Micaiah, he knew Micaiah was known for spoiling things. That's right.